to the Pin Man. Last time, we were in the bathroom cleaning our pins. This evening, I am going to demonstrate how to fill four different systems. Actually, three because, again, uh, there are two types of piston filling systems that, that we're going to look at, just like we did the last time when we were cleaning the pen. All right, so part of fountain pen owning, the fun part is not just cleaning. That's kind of fun. I like it. I don't mind it at all. But also the filling. Obviously, if you're going to use your pen, you're going to have to fill it with ink once in a while. And what I want to show you today, just like cleaning the pen, was very a very easy task really and the more you do it the easier it is you get it done you get in there and get it done and it's and it's not a problem filling the pen is the same same thing it, you might get a little bit of inky fingers but hey that's just uh, what it is with fountain pen people have a little bit of inky fingers but even at that if you do it right you're not going to get that messy all right, so it doesn't have to be messy. All right, so hold on. I'm going to readjust here, and we'll get started filling some pens. All right, we're pretty much set up. I have four pens here. I have a Quaco Sport and that Twisby Eco. I have a Bauer. 301, I think it's called. Uh, I'll give a little more information on this when I review it. And my Pilot Custom 823. You have your newspaper. You have a bunch of paper towels. And that's basically all you need. I'm going to amend what I said a little bit earlier about how many filling systems. I'm actually going to throw in a fifth one here and I'll explain that in a minute and you would clean it. Okay, so we have our five pens and we have five different inks. We have uh, four Diamine and one Kaweco. Kaweco, Kaweco, yes. Okay, so let's just go down the line. I'm trying to do a variety of inks. Usually I match my inks with the color of the pen, but just for the sake of instruction, I am not going to do that tonight. Okay, so I have Diamine Oxblood, and I am going to use, uh, fill my Twisby Eco, a piston filler with that. Now, when you're when you're filling, filling your, your pen, okay, I'm going to end up showing that a little bit closer. I'll zoom in uh, here. You can see this channel right there. That's where you're going to, that's where you're going to suck up the ink and bring it into the, to the chamber. And then the breather hole right there is where you're going to get some air as you, as the, the breather hole right there, as you um, write, it's going to supply air so that it can flow better. Uh, okay, so you, when you're filling the pen, you want to get it past that little hole there. Now, some, some pens actually have the hole way up here. Uh, very few. Most of them are like this. Sometimes they're way up here, so you only have to uh, dip in just a uh, just a little bit there. But we're gonna do that. So we got to put it all the way up there. And with my piston fillers, I take the piston all the way down. Okay. I make sure that I'm submerged just a little bit. You don't have to go a whole lot. With the bigger bottles, it's easier to, to see that done. And then see it splash up there. And then if you want a really good fill, 
you take it all the way back down and then you just slowly come up okay I'm getting air in there that's not what I want okay and you see it coming up sometimes you can get it all the way up to the to the bottom there okay that's all I'm gonna fill right there all right and so you know and just kind of at the top of the nib right there against and then the feed because that'll get clean off some of your excess then take a paper towel fold it up I usually clean the grip area first make sure And then what I do, now you can, you can try to clean off some, some of the ink residue from the nib. It's kind of hard to get it all off, but anyway, you can get some. I mean, that, that really, I don't know if you could tell it there, but uh, that really is pretty clean. So, got that off. And then what I do is I go ahead and soak some up from that, from that feed section, and I just... I just touch it to my paper towel there, kind of roll it. That way you're less likely to get any in your nib. Okay, so there is one piston filler. Okay, the other piston filler, we'll do the bower here. There's, there's two ways you can do this. You can either uh, just stick the converter down into the ink, which is sometimes a little cumbersome because there's less area, and so you're having to go down further, and so your, your hands are getting closer to the tip there, or to the uh, edge of the bottle. It just gets messier. Or, and what I usually do, and sometimes you have to do that, and I'm going to show you this other tool that I have that helps in filling your ink. You can use a, uh, an ink vial, like what you get with your samples. Okay, so you want to, like I said, you can either dip it in like that, and again, this is a piston filler, so we're going to do this, and then we're, I'm going to, going to go ahead and fill it from the nib. Same same principle. You you have the same channel, and you're gonna dip it into about to about there. We're gonna do a different color ink. So there's that. All right, we're gonna do some Mesa Blue here in the Bauer horses. Oh, got it all. Got the plunger all the way down. That in and bring it up a little. I see it starting to suck stuff up, so I'm going to go down a little bit more. Down again, and then come up. I'm not doing a full. Okay. Same thing. Wipe off the grip. A little wipe on the nib there. And soak some up from the feed. Voila. Okay, so there are your two piston fillers. Now, how about we do a vac system? And we're going to do chocolate brown. All right. So we're going to pull our piston all the way back. Same thing. We're going to dip it down to where this part of the grip is below the uh, ink level there. Now see here on this one, I can't get it down very low. Okay, so oftentimes, let's see, uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate this other toy that I have. 
Okay, this is just a, a cone that as your ink gets lower, or as I said, sometimes you have pins that won't fit down into diamonds, skinny container. But anyway, what you do is you can either take this little uh, dealy here, I can't remember what they call them, but anyway, it's like a uh, eyedropper and suck up the ink and put it in there or you can just pour a little ink in there like so this is a maiden uh, trial here and see as it funnels down it just makes it a lot easier to fill and you got to be careful there okay see all that ink all went up in there and then with this one you just you can you can leave it like that it's not a problem and then you just close it okay so and then I just carefully I can either uh, take this dealy <laughs> we'll call it a dealy how about that I can take this dealy and Suck some ink up into it. Or I can carefully pour the rest back in there. Okay. So we got that. Okay, so there's your piston filler. And here's an interesting one that the Pilot Metropolitans they come with this, I think it's called a Con B. I've seen it called different, other different things. You can, you can use these to, you know, just clean your pens too by filling it with water and so forth. So you see it's got this, this rubber sack right there. And then around on the sides, you have this metal on both sides. And that's what you're going to squeeze. You're going to squeeze that squeeze that and it'll pull in the water if you're using it to clean and then you punch it in there and just do it like that but we are going to use it to get some ink and what ink are we going to do here uh let's see how about some majestic pur er, purple okay now the downside of these and uh the the Pilot Metropolitan will also take a uh, Con 40. So the downside of this is you can't see how much ink you're, that you're getting. But for the most part, if you see where you're, that you're getting your nib down into the ink bottle far enough, I usually give it like two, maybe three squeezes, and I know I'm going to have sufficient uh, ink, if not a full sack there. So... I'm going to squeeze it, insert it in the ink, pull it up, squeeze it again, and then squeeze kind of slow, just like we brought the pistons, uh, the uh, piston fillers up. Okay. And that's all you have to do there. And then make sure I'm writing. That's a good thing about filling from the nib is you start out with with an already saturated nib section you don't have to wait for our ink to flow down because i'm going to show you yet another way to fill a fountain pen all right this is another tool that pen people fountain pen people it, find as a must it is a syringe now it is a blunt nose syringe Okay, sometimes, I'm going to show you with this Quaco Sport, Skyline Sport. Sometimes you might be in a situation where you, you have a, a, an empty cartridge. You know, your pen may not, there are some pens that, in fact, I'll be reviewing one pen. It's an inexpensive pen that takes a proprietary cartridge it doesn't take a it doesn't have a converter that can be used with it 
what if you got a pin like my sport came with uh, two cartridges i believe but it did not come with a converter all right is that the end of the world no it's not do you need to go out and buy a, a converter no not necessarily so here's what you do and you can uh by the way you can also use this to clean out your your converters that instead uh, let's just pretend this is a converter you know you have your piston there there's your open end just take water fill your syringe with water and flush it out that's all you know just flush it just keep flushing just you know obviously make sure that you're pointing it the right way and all because these things that's a lot they have a lot of volume they can uh, fill up in here and if you try to squeeze it too fast i mean that's just it comes out of this skinny syringe part pretty fast and powerful so like a jet all right so what we're going to do is since there's no piston to fill this with uh and there's no converter okay so we're gonna we're gonna use some Coeco pearl black i think this is my favorite black ink and the syringes are good too for when you're getting really low now some people will will say that you can take take the syringe and so i don't know if you can see it and put it down this channel and fill that way i tried it one time it doesn't work now with the um with this piston filler you can take out the nib and the the hole that's that's down in there uh, that the uh, feed slips into you can you can take this and put it all the way down in there and and fill it that way too so there's a uh, so these syringes yeah they come in they come in handy okay so I'm just going to draw in some ink here and slowly ever so slowly famous last words okay so I managed to not make a big mess. My wife is saying thank you very much. Okay, put the cartridge back in. And then, now sometimes you can, in order to get the ink to go, let's see if it's flowing yet. Okay, it's not flowing yet. That, see, again, that's, that's why I like to have uh, be able to stick my nib down in there and draw the ink up because that way you start with ink already there. So sometimes you can take your cartridge and just give it a little squeeze. That'll help get some ink down in there. Let's see if it's going yet. I'm just going to sit this down. Now what you could do, I, I suppose at this point, is maybe dip. You can dip your nib in there. Nobody's saying you can't do that. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, that's your your dip test, but let's see if it dries out. It may it may start. Yeah, it's kind of drying out. Okay, while I get all this stuff back together, okay, we'll see what happens. Th this is my least favorite way. Okay, I think I'm seeing some maybe some ink. Or is that just the brown from down there, I think, maybe? See if that might prime it. Looks like it might might have done the trick. So you, you do that. Some other, I just filled a pen not too long ago with, with a cartridge. It was my Lamy's. And I put the cartridge in and it was ready. It was ready to go. All right, I am getting flow. So if you put it in there, squeeze it, squeeze the cartridge a little bit, keep it in, a, in an upright position, let the ink flow. Uh, this is a small nib and small feed, so maybe that was the issue. Okay, there you have it. Five, count them, five different ways to fill your fountain pens or different filling systems and uh, some of the, the tools of the trade. And I hope this has been helpful to you. Hey, do me a favor. If there is a filling system that, that wasn't covered tonight, 
that you thought would be interesting, uh, could you put it in the comments down there? Because I would like to, again, I want to educate uh, as many people as possible regarding fountain pens because I think fountain pens are fun. They are cool. Anyway, I'm glad that you uh, took the time to listen in tonight to the Pin Man. All right, thank you very much, and you have a good evening.